What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another unboxing review. Today I'm bringing you the Iron Studios 110 scale Freddy Krueger. So here's the box. Nice little art box, your typical 1 6 scale box. These are very small, easy to put away. So we're gonna open up this bad boy, put them up next to the other horror lines. They've only revealed one additional horror statue since you know, all these have released and it's another Pennywise. So I don't like the fact they're doing multiple, you know, of the same character. I'd rather they do a leather face, a scream, or, you know, someone new, Michael Myers. But I'm happy to add Freddy. I think it looks great. Similar to Jason, I don't think the likeness is 100% there, but it still looks awesome nonetheless. So I did go with the deluxe, the... Standard edition is just your typical black base and then Freddy. For this one, has a, you know, much more themed and diorama type base. So, I don't think these ever have edition sizes. They just make as many as they sell. There is one pipe with smoke that goes here. We'll go in. All right, this thing is not going in. confident goes like this all right there we go there we go got it in let's check out freddy so here he is fully sculpted this is my first fully sculpted one now if you compare this to sideshow sideshow is a million times better no doubt the face is okay it's not the best I definitely don't see Robert England. It's decent though, the eyes are painted really good. I'll do some close-ups to show you. And one last piece, of course, his claw hand. That's right here. I don't know about you, but I think this might be metal. It looks metal to me. The claws look great. They're very shiny, shinier than sideshows. I honestly think that might be metal. I'd have to put a magnet next to it to truly confirm, but you know, it looks and feels metal to me. Which if it is, props on them, cause sideshow went the cheap route and didn't do metal on theirs as far as I know. This has a much shinier look to it. So here it is. Freddy Krueger, little one tenth scale statue. We're gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up and see how it compares to the other whore line. Alrighty, YouTubers, thank you for staying tuned. Uh, here we have Freddy Krueger all set up in my little whore one tenth scale section. Now I'm getting the Dilophosaurus that should arrive very, very soon and then I'll remove the T-Rex and put that there so they're all one tenth scale. Now, Freddy is uh, the smallest of the bunch. Uh, you know, I know he's quite a bit smaller than Jason in the movies. And then, uh, obviously, those two are wearing, like, giant garbs. Uh, so, I don't know true size reference. Uh, although, it looks pretty accurate to one-tenth scale compared to the others. So, let's just uh, check Freddy out closer. So, here the base is a furnace base. So, you have a nice texture and copper tones so looks great then you have these different pipes this little turning dial and smoke coming out so definitely a good representation of a furnace where freddy was often seen in the dreams in the movies then we go to freddy himself so he is fully sculpted of course so great texture work all throughout his entire body you can see the seams on the clothes the rips and tears on the shirt see his skin right there where it's the burn marks like i said in the unboxing the claws look fantastic they look like real metal and they look great 
The shirt has lots of folds and creases. It looks very finely detailed and good paint job. Then we go on to the portrait for a one tenth. It looks pretty good. You, know, you can definitely tell it's obviously Freddy Krueger. He's showing his teeth. His eyes are very well painted. You can focus there. It's so small, it's hard to focus. But eyes look great. You can see all the different burn marks and his hat. So definitely looks cool. Uh, pretty good pose, turning around with the, you know, mouth open and showing his blades. So looks great in the whore line. Uh, hopefully they'll make more of these in the future. Uh, you know, I'd probably just get them all. But here is Freddy Krueger, one tenth scale statue. Uh, score at a one out of five, I'd probably just give it a three. Uh, one tenth scale statues are not overall super, super impressive, especially for me since I have such a massive collection and you know, I got statues like that big and detailed, you know, like this is impressive to me. You no, know, one tenth is more or less like an afterthought. It's not super, super impressive. The one that is super, super impressive is this guy. The one tenth scale T-Rex. This is hands down the best one tenth scales out there. It's, I freaking love this. When it's the smaller single characters, they look okay. I mean, it's a nice little detailed figure. It's a, you know, they're semi cheap between one and $200 generally. Good paint and sculpt, but the size really does matter when it comes to statues. When you have something super small, it just loses presence and, the wow factor. That's why, you know, for me, one tenths are more or less like throw something on top or, you know, where you just don't have space to do a giant one fourth or one third or life size. You know, so up here, this is my, you know, Stuven Abesta. I've, you know, 15 inches to the top of the ceiling. So I do want to fill every single spot. I didn't like it looking bare. So I like putting one tenths up there. So, you know, I got my little whore and then here I'll have the two Velociraptors and the Dilophosaurus. Although I may do the Dilphosaurus in the middle if it fits and to do the two raptors side by side. And over there, you know, I got that one tenth and props. So I like putting stuff on top of the shelf. It just looks cooler to me than if that was just empty, it looks boring. So here is Freddy though, great little statue. He is a little bit more pricey than the other ones. Not sure why, to be honest. Uh, you know, he was $160 where the other ones were like 110, 115. I think Jason might have been 145. He doesn't have any switch outs. I wish he did. I wish he came with a portrait without his uh, hat. I think that would have been great. And even a claw hand where it's the sy syringes and not the actual claws. I think that would have been cool. Definitely a missed opportunity for switch outs. This is what you get. But overall, it's a cool little statue. If you're collecting these whore lines, you're on a budget, you have very little space. One tenths are a great little option. Now, the only other whore one tenth shown off is the uh, Pennywise from It 2, uh, where he's basically floating with a bunch of balloons. I don't plan to pick that up as I already have Pennywise. I'm not looking to get duplicate characters in the one tenth line. So I will wait for future whore one tenths. Uh, you know, I'll probably get them all. And then eventually, I put them all probably up here and just move these raptors next to my Jurassic area. But let me know your thoughts on this, Freddy. Hope you enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.